Hello everybody and welcome to Freaking Effects where we're going to continue the second part of our tutorial on how to make the Suicide Squad intro. Um, we were using this uh, video as a reference and we already created some nice letters with these decals that we can see over here, these leaks. And we're going to proceed today with the lighting that it has and also with these neons that we're going to create. So first of all we want to get the, the reference video and we're going to play it ahead a little bit over here when the lights turn off so that we can more properly see the, um, the lighting that this scene has. So we can see over here that it has a green light coming from here, another one pink coming from behind. So okay, we're going to create that. First of all, we're going to take this lamp this um, uh, ambient lamp and we're going to put a very low value like that one maybe even less maybe that zero five that zero two maybe so that almost all the light that we're going to get comes from the other two lamps and um, not from here so if we press F12 right now we can see it's really dark and so so we're going to press F I mean in space we're going to write at lamp and we're going to get an area one. Now we can't see any kind of difference because this lamp affects only in the render. If we put it up, we press F12, we can see that it's really bright right now because it only affects the render but not the actual um, 3D space. So we're going to put it as we can see in the video that it is. I'm going to put it like this more or less. Yeah, it looks that it, it's coming like that way. Maybe a little bit lower. Something like that. And we're we're going to make some changes to it. First of all, we're going to put here right shadow so that this lamp creates an actual shadow of the letters. And we're going to get that green tone a little bit darker. Looks more or less like this tongue over here. And we're going to put the distance only to 5. Maybe the energy, put it to 2. We press F12. We can see it's still too bright. And we're going actually to put the size here on 5, maybe 3. And the samples to 5. So that we can see that it diffuses the, the shadow that it creates. Maybe even bigger, 5. So we have a nice diffused shadow over here. I'm going to put a little bit less, maybe that's okay. Maybe a little bit more. One that five should look okay. Yeah, it looks nice like that. We can even put less distance and more energy. Even more five. It's about you know playing around with values until you get the result that you like. Thing that actually I'm going to leave it like that. Now we're going to create the other pink light that we can see that is coming from behind. So we're going to duplicate this lamp actually. We're going to rotate it just like that. The top view. We're going to put it over here something like that and we're going to make it pink bright pink press F12 and we can see that it gives this uh, this kind of nice effect that we want I'm going actually to put to this one even less distance because I don't know I don't think it starts to look better like this now we can see over here that the leaks, um, the stuff that it has, it looks like fluorescing a little bit. So we have to make that to our text. We have to take these leaks over here and make them like this bright blue that we can see. So we're going to go ahead with that. We want to come here to the texture. Um, we want to put the color down to zero because we want to be shown the color that we're going to create in here. Sorry, not the diffuse. Control Z. The specular. 
No, it was the diffuse actually. So when I create this, and we're going to put an emit, we're going to put it on one so that it's bright as you can see over here. So if we press F12 now, well we can see it's actually too bright. So I'm going to point it down to that three maybe. It starts to look better. It doesn't have to look like perfect as we can see over here because then later on After Effects we'll put some filters to the image and it will look much better. So we're going to do exactly the same with this one. We're going to take that bluish color, put amid, maybe this one, that five. And oops, we're going to take color to zero. And exactly the same with this one over here. Color zero. And the light like this, amid, maybe that seven. We press F12. We can see that we created these uh, same textures that we can that we can see over there, and it's really looking really nice now. So the next thing that we want to do is now create the neons that we can see over here to give this look. So we we're going to take the letters. I'm going to make it first with this one and then with thunder. So when I get this text, I'm going to duplicate it by holding shift and pressing D, we just duplicate that. And we're going to go into edit mode, select all the faces, and you want to get into the top view and hold alt and press S and create and make it just a little bit bigger, just like that. And now we want to press S, sorry, press S and now press set so that it, uh, you only scale in the X on the set axis and you want to put it below the actual letters just like that I'm going to put in maybe less yes it's looking nice like that and I want to separate uh, the the faces into different objects so that we can put different colors to it so I'm going to do just as I did in the other in the intro that you saw before. So I'm going to separate first. First of all, make sure that you select this over here, that you uncheck it so that you can select all the faces, both inside and outside. And I'm going to select all the vertices first here. Press B so that this thing appears and you can bear select. Separate by selection. So here I'm going to take, I don't know if these two are only one out, I'm going to take two of them actually. Separate by selection and press B on here and separate by selection. Okay, so now we have four different uh, neons with which we can play with. And we're going to get to put it a little bit like this. The first one we can see that is a little bit like red. I'm not going to put it totally red, but kind of. So we're going to, first of all, delete the material. We're going to create a new one and call it Neon Red. I'm going to make it red, but a little bit displaced, something like that. We're going to put it Emit on 2. Now we're going to get the second one, delete this material. Neon purple. Yes, over there. Emmy two. The third one I'm going to put it mm, maybe pink like that. I'm going to put it oops. Not in here for sorry first. We do that and we change the material, neon pink. Maybe more like purple like that. Two. And the last one when I put it lead, when I put it blue, neon blue. So we just created these three different um neons. Actually this two are Pretty similar. I'm going to change this one a little bit, just like that. 
so that they're not dead alike. And if we press F12 now, so that we can see the images, we can see that there's no um like difference in the way that they're only really bright, but they're not like um, emitting light. Um, we, for making that for making that um, light emit, we want to move off layer everything to keep it a little bit, you know, in order. So we're going first of all to take all the different lights that we have. We're going to press M and select which layer you want the lights to be. So I'm going to put the lights maybe here. I'm going to select the news that we just created. Press M and put it maybe here in the second one. I'm going to select also the these decals and I'm going to put it in this one over here. So now if you want to put all the things together in all the layers, you have to hold shift and click over here to get all the different layers. If you want if you for example want to render the text but without these decals, you just hold shift and uncheck this one. Now you press F12. You can see that the decals aren't there. But the one that I actually don't wonder is the light, so I'm going to uncheck them. And we're going to come over here and I'm going to we're going to go here, sorry, to the world uh, options. And we want to check here in the red light and we want to change the gather to approximate and put a little bit of pass maybe three. And if we press F12, it will be a little bit slower. We can see that they're now actually emitting light. We can see that the, the light that these objects emit are reflected in here in the thunder text. So we're going to create just, just the same way that we did these nails. We're going to do exactly the same for the word thunder. We're going to hold shift and press D to create a copy. Go on the top view. Hold Alt and press S. Make it just a little bit bigger. We're going to, I'm going to put it like this. S set. Put it like that. Okay, and now we want to come to the materials, let it add a new. I'm going to make this neon green. Should put it like this and put emit on two. And now if we press F12, now we can see a difference. We can see how this text is emitting light. We can this, actually we can see better this one because it's uh, reflected on the on the word that is below the text. Um, we can see something cooler. So now we want to render each uh, each one of these nouns in a different image so that then when we can we can play around with each one so that we can make that kind of um glitching effect so we're going to take all the different nouns we're going to put this one in and we're going to put them in different layers so the green one m and over here the second one m and this one the third one m here, the fourth, and the last one over there. So now we have all the different neons on different on different layers. So we want to first of all render the image like this, only with the text, the lights, and the decals. Press F12. We want to render them just like that and we want to now when you already have rendered your image you want to save them by pressing F3 looking for the folder where you have the where you have everything saved here and I'm going to make a new folder call it logo I'm going to save everything that I'm going to render I'm going to save it here so we're going to go over here I want to so we want so when I so when I go to the folder that we already have we're going to make this logo 
space. I want to save it there. Just one thing before I forgot, make sure that when you render you have this at 100% because if not, it's not going to to render at, mm, at the uh, format that you put over here, but at the health of it. I don't mind because, you know, I already have everything prepared uh, and so on. I just want to go fast. I'm going to keep it like that. So press F12. Once you have the image render, press F3 and save it. I want to do the same thing, but only with the basic test with no decals and no lights. And we're going to hold shift and take the first neon. Press F12. Wait for the render. We're going to press now F3. Save as logo. Thunder. Maybe I'm going to save it like neon thunder. Now we're going to check this one by holding shift. Check the next one. F12. And we have to do exactly the same thing. Neon set. F3. Neon EB. And check this one. F12. And by doing this, it's a slow process. But because we want to have full control of what we're going to be making later on After Effects. Because this way, well, you'll see later what we're going to be making. And the last one, Neon A. Okay, so we have now already a lot of different um, images. Over here, we have here the main text. And then we have all the different Neons uh, reflection. This one is really cool, actually. And we want to put them all into After, Eff into After Effects. So we head into it. And once we have our project, we have to import all of these uh, different images that we have rendered. It's going really slow. Why? Well, I'm doing a lot of things, actually. Recording the sound, recording the screen. I can understand. My computer is not a transformer. So when I head to the... Um, to the folder where we have saved all of our stuff and we want to import all of them. So first of all, take the base, the one that is only the logo with the lights and the decals, and import it into After Effects. Full. And now we want to take all of the other and put it on top. And I'm going to actually now uh, put it on some kind of order first. Sander said E B R A like that. And then we want to put all of them into add mode. Into add mode or maybe into screen mode depending on how you prefer it. Like this. And now we can you can see that we can get this effect like it's glitching. So I think it's already cool what we have already created. So I think we can leave it already here because we're going to make a very long thing from this tutorial if we continue. So on the next chapter of this um, series of tutorials, we'll see how to make the effect that we can see over here, how they turn on and how they, they all turn out. We're, we will probably make also the background and everything. So I hope that you enjoyed and that uh, if you found this tutorial helpful, give a like and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet. And I really hope to see you in my next tutorial. So, see ya!